So tasks is something that's been in Outlook for an awful long time. So, so tasks, if you've seen tasks before, this will kind of look fairly familiar. Um, and you can, let me just turn that out of office off. Um, if you want to go and create a new task, you can kind of go and do it in here and 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 and, it, and, and it's OK. However, um, Microsoft is moving to uh, and has moved to an application called To Do, which is now integrated within Microsoft Outlook. Now, I strongly suggest if you're not using To Do and you like working from lists and in terms of keeping yourself organised, um, is installing the To Do app on your mobile phone. Um, there's a to do app that you can install from the Microsoft store as well. So even outside of Outlook. Just minimize that down. Um, I have the to do app installed as an app on my toolbar. And, you know, firstly, what I can see here now is I can start to see um, any tasks that I've got assigned. So uh, any tasks that I've put down to be assigned to me to do today. So these are things that, you know, I absolutely must get these things done today. Now, your My Day view in To Do refreshes every day. So it's not going to get rid of your tasks, but it will create you a blank My Day tomorrow. So when I go to this page tomorrow, um, these tasks won't appear on there um, because it will be a new day for me to plan. However, my tasks will still be there. So I can start to see things like um, you know, I can see, you know, I can see all of my tasks um, in one place. I've got any emails that I flagged. So if there's any things that, that I need to do, um, they're all showing within here. If I've had any tasks assigned to me from other people, um, I can see all those in here as well. Um, any tasks that I've got planned. So, you know, I've got some things here that I've got assigned to do today. Um, I've got some things that are planned, you know, in, you know, you know for next year. Um, off the back of this, I can see any tasks that are assigned for later today. I can see any that I'm overdue on as well. Actually, you know, I've not I've not put my expenses in there. Um, and you can create new lists within to do as well. So actually, you might just want to create, you know, you know, a, a personal list for 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 whatever, you know, for whatever reason. So it might be my shopping list, you know, so I can create some kind of personal lists within here as well and assign tasks. Now, the nice thing with to do as well is that when I'm adding a task in there, um, so I could say, actually, I need to submit uh, the report by um, next Monday. So because I've put by next Monday, it automatically knows that there's a date assigned to this. And over on the right here, you can see it's actually automatically assigned this to be Monday the 2nd. So if I press enter now, it's it's gone and created me uh, that task that that I want to do. It's added it to my day view because I've created it from there. But if I go now to my planned tasks, I can actually see um, that I've got a task in there to submit the report for next Monday and it automatically appears in my list. Now, I'm, I'm kind of showing you that within the to do app, but it's exactly the same within Outlook as well. So. The to do is this kind of uh, blue um, uh, tick symbol that you can see here. And again, I can see that shopping list that I created. I can see my flagged emails that I've created here. It really starts to help me organize my day. Any tasks that have been assigned to me, I can see those, you know, what I've got planned. So if you do like working from lists and you've always found things like um, tasks um, doesn't quite cut it, I've found to do really, really good, particularly because it synchronizes across all of your devices. You can install the app um, everywhere and it's just simple and easy to use. And when you've done something, you can just simply go and tick it off. It gives you a nice little ting symbol that so uh, which you, you know that you know that it's been done. Um, but a really nice, helpful planning tool um, and in terms of kind of creating lists and action items. Um, so that's kind of Microsoft to do.